Hi and welcome. It's Bella Katrina here. We're doing your twin flame full moon snapshot. It's like an aerial picture energetic view, if you like, of what's going on with the twin flame collective. So I've got I want to have a few messages here and just been talking to the Pleiadians and angels and they're all so close everything's so the vibration is unbelievable because I've been working with Reiki energy for about seven years and I've been doing private practice you know one-on-one -on -one sessions so I've been using this energy thinking what well, you know like it's it's been fantastic for me but how could other people do it for five hours a day to get these unbelievable results and they've been showing me that it's quantum healing. It's like I got to this level to be able to bring down more so in my presence that people activate. So this has been a discipline for me twice a day to ground, clear and balance. I used to do it once a week. Or really I just wait until I really felt drained. That at least I had some way to get back, clear my energy and get grounded. So that's what the Pleiadians, or please, I'm going to call them, say, is that we really need to ground our energy into Gaia, clear it and balance it so that we can activate this cellular memory that's being released and all this DNA. And we need to get out into the sunshine a lot more because the sun has information that needs to be transferred into the cells. And that's why the chemtrails are about to stop us from getting this. So connecting to Gaia, sitting on Gaia, walking, and then imagining your um, just an energetic cord coming straight down through your feet into your Earth Star and anchoring into Gaia. So I've been practicing that because I'm not so good at visualization. So our imagination can protect us. So you can actually visualize a cocoon of golden light around your auric field and you just say aura up in the morning or if you're very vulnerable or you know not feeling very strong it's aura up 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 so you get three times and you visualize like one inch every time you click your fingers of a solid boundary around your auric field so you can do that now but also I brought in emotional healing for twin flames because I've been doing absentee healings this afternoon and all the crystals and the whole home is activated to send you distance healing meaning you can receive it where you are so it's emotional healing for twin flames I'm working very closely with the archangels um, and the these guys the keepers of the light so I'm going to bring them in as well for this evening and I've just got the lovely um, love oracle by Tony and the normal tarot here so this is what I do I actually do Reiki mediumship and tarot all together and it's called a shabam so there is an opening special <laughs> for twin flames so it's $55 off a of power shabam that means you connect to your spirit guides, guardian angels, loved ones who've passed over. We see where your twin is, what's going on energetically, distance, um, and what you can do to elevate the process. So it's all energy, remember? It's all energy. So I'm just going to ask you to take a big deep breath and just going to tune into this collective. And we're going to just ask the keepers of the light the archangel michael i work very closely with and jesus is coming because he's got a lot to do with the twin flames and he's the ascension master he's our host and he's the massive healer that i've been working with for years but just really got close in the last six months so when i say the palladians came to visit they actually came to visit and I asked them to come in their rawest form, in their purest form. So they came in light, but I thought they were going to come in as little people. But maybe that's just too much for Bella Katrina at the moment. Well, I'm liking this a lot. Ah, oh, twin flames. As a collective, the channeling starting. So I work with Sanat Kumara here. He's been following me around since the last reading, the last full moon, and just 
you know, getting ready for today. So we're very excited to be here. I'm going to keep shuffling. So it's like I get bossed around now because I'm in, in the groove. And they download it into my aura, right, between the moons. And now it's being uploaded as soon as I say it's ready. Otherwise, that's all I think about, hey, is the twin flame. So we're looking at uh, just a basic seven card layout. It's a snapshot aerial view. So just thinking how you're feeling because it's full moon energy. I'm doing this on the full moon. Harnessing the power of it. So we're looking in the past here. The twin flame relationship in the past. So one twin has found the missing piece. So that means one twin's fully identified. So we say that's awakened, don't we? And then here is the other twin is actually getting it mentally. The idea is dropping into the brain cells. <laughs> it's like a liquid drop. Do you know what I mean? An idea, an inspiration, an aha moment. And it's definitely here. They're showing me here on the cellular level. Remember, you know, it's almost like saying God's got this. This is say ancient sacred energy. And they, they asked me to keep meditating on it. Ancient sacred energy. Ancient sacred, ancient sacred, ancient sacred. Right, went on and on. And then out of that just was like, oh, it's the energy. You know, they say our body is more intelligent than our mind because our mind is in a matrix. But we're getting out of that. And this is on a soul level. So this is what you'd call the fifth dimension. And in here is the idea coming down into 3D. So this is in the past position for Twin Flames. Where we are right now, you would say, and I'm talking to the twin who's watching, right? The twin here who knows who the other one is or whatever. So it's easier for me to relate. So trust, transformation occurs through acceptance. These are Tony Karma and Selena, I think. And these are the right of weight, the little ones. And this is Six of Cups. So in the Six of Cups, just showing me one partner is stuck in a familiar pattern of allowing somebody else to either get their way or it's a familial pattern, so a genetic cellular coding that's being released because this is like, it's like having a good relationship but still one partner still has more control over the other regarding status or money or age right because there could be age differences here so this is the pattern that you're breaking and it's come up for full moon it just means it's inside us a little bit but it gets mirrored back at you really big so I'm getting that this is really occurring in the twin that's not watching this <laughs> don't want to get confused so past present future Wow, we're in the full moon. So this is immediate future. This is like tomorrow because this power of this full moon has never been so intense on planet Earth ever in the history of humanity. So this will go for another three days. This is a massive energy. Don't know how you're going, but it's been quite intense on a cellular level for me, releasing stuff. So here you are loved more than you will ever know. Remember always, I love you. See, a lot of times this our twin flame was on the other side and not incarnated here so this is maybe Atlantis they were right and we've had to um, forgive I keep getting forgiveness around Atlantis so the ego went out of control in Atlantis and the masculine are battling that ego right now because this is like um, in the head in their head this is the, I'm getting, sorry, I just tuned into the Divine Masculine, they're in their head saying things like, if I do it this way and then that'll happen, oh no, I can't do it that way, and then what about what she said, and then, oh, and then I just said, and then this pang of guilt comes up. So this is like, the connection is not strong or activated between the heart, the feelings and the knowing in their cells of their body. Remember, it's sacred ancient energy. The energy has to be allowed to integrate and activate together. And it doesn't have to be in 3D. I mean, 
It has to be in 3D, but it doesn't have to be in your immediate surroundings because our energy is traveling at multiple distances and at unbelievable speeds. So you can actually activate this in yourself and get signs from your twin no matter where they're located. And this is where you start your journey because then you get this knowing and they feel it too. So this knowing then the energy starts to build and we do the infinity symbol with the meditation that I did. So it's been very, very powerful for a lot of my clients in reunion this week, just in the last couple of days, since we've been activating that infinity symbol in my meditation. It's my favorite meditation ever. So right now, right, sexual energy is at an all-time high. And you've got to be careful in your sleep, right, because the dark forces are about and they love to come into your chakra system through your sacral because they love this energy and they use it. It's like if they were to go, you know, to a showroom with a Maserati, Ferraris and Rolls Royces, they get to go for a test drive, so to speak. So they can make you feel promiscuous and it's actually a demonic entity because they get in through your theta, theta, brain waves. So you could do that or if you watch a lot of television, right, television gets you there and because you're in a theta state, silence is consent. So they just pop in. If you've done Reiki with me or done Reiki Master Energy Level 3, they cannot get into your chakras or your, you get the crown seal, right? That's why we do Reiki, because the demonic forces are about and they're stuffing this up. Also, <laughs> what I'm seeing is that the twin who's not watching is getting very aware of their needs in their sexuality because when you're a twin you would have um, a lot of energy right it's ancient sacred energy and it's sexual energy as well so the energy <laughs> I'm laughing because it's like the energy has its own vibrant force and this is the energy if you would allow yourself to get out of your mind long enough and feel the energy it does its work and we have a, I have a saying that I would say in Reiki, let Reiki be the answer. So let the energy of Reiki do it. Now this is five years, I'm saying six, seven years, I've been training my mind to do that. And I only started Reiki to really prove it wrong, so then I would never have to talk about it again. And it was just aligned me that I could do psychic readings and I could be protected and I could turn it on and off the channeling. Otherwise, it's with me all the time, you know, and you're picking up everybody's energy. So this is really important to anchor down and not pick up other people's sexual energy and also set an intention in your sleep. I intend to sleep deeply and be protected. I intend to be safe and I intend to connect on a soul level. Remember, it's your soul on a soul level with my twin flame tonight and I want to wake up knowing that I've done it and I want to get a sign or three signs really big by 10 o'clock that to help me on the way and this is the this is the this is like confirmation here so like here you know it's confirmation that this is a done deal this is ancient sacred energy. Sorry, they keep saying it to me. What a beautiful reading. So that's in the middle, right? So that's been awakened. It doesn't matter if you're five minutes away or you're 500,000 kilometers away. So that's good. I didn't know that. The energy is all powerful, but you've got to anchor down. You've got to anchor down and you've got to get out of your mind. So the energy around the Twin Flame Collective for this month is soulmate your soulmate is already with you in spirit believe so yes of course we're soulmates right but this is also cutting out a soulmate see that so I have had channeled messages for specifically divine masculine a lot so that I'll be performing a ritual with them in the divine masculine reading to help cut this away, it's a specific energy. But with a soulmate, right, it's karmic. So it has to be cleared. That's why you came in to heal this stuff. This is why we've incarnated at a specific time because all the timelines are parallel and they're collapsing. And we've come in to heal the DNA and we've come in to heal ourselves, our past, our inner child. And even after you do all that, people are still in the matrix. 
It's absolutely mind-blowing, this matrix on our mind and how we're trapped. It oversees and surpasses any other wounds that I have encountered in my healing practice. Uh, once you untap from that, your heart starts to express itself and your inner child starts to tell you how they want to be treated and what would make them happy. And then you have a happy inner child and an open heart. So this is on the way to that, right? On the way, you've got to cut the big, you know, branch out of the way. So we're cutting out the karmic soulmate. It's happened. It's like magic and God's got this, right? So we can actually receive quantum massive healings and miracles, right? Got to get your vibration up a bit to experience them. And we declare that they're on our way, on their way to us. <laughs> Okay, this is hopes and fears. So abundance. So I was talking to somebody today about hopes and fears. You know, I said, what were your fears? And he said, failure. And I said, or success. What about success? So it's the flip side, see? See that? See the flip side? Again, that's what I was going to say here. This is with the moon. This is the divine masculine energy I get. So we've got 25% of that within us as feminines. So we're ex all experiencing this. This is like um, also a bit codependenty. A bit codependenty. A bit like, um, oh, have I done the wrong thing? Or, oh, no, I'll just stay. I'll make it all look good. And everyone will be happy except for me. So codependency is really putting other people's realities before your own before your own happiness and this is where the banter going back and forth right because this is a heart and the mind and then the inner child will start coming out and that's exciting so this is where the inner child gets the healing gets to express itself creatively as well that sexual energy and the sacral got to protect it remember intentions when you go to sleep and ask Archangel Michael in and here is five. So these are the people, right? So these are karmic people I'm getting as well. And these are for both. Both twins have cut people out and then felt guilty. Yes, or sad. But you know what? It's like when your energy changes, and I notice with my clients, right? When you start anchoring down, you start buzzing yourself up. And then they enter a room and so-and-so leaves or they can't get a hold of blah 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 they haven't spoken to their sister for two months like what's wrong and it's like instead of taking it personally think that you're being protected right because you're a twin flame you must unite with your twin and it happens easily effortlessly and the energy activates itself here so if you've ever thought of this energy I'm getting is like when you're asleep with a lover or someone you're in love with and you've been with them for years or whatever and you know when you're sleeping and then you're making love while you sleep and then you wake up and then you know it's that type of energy here this is what I'm getting it's energetic You've got to bring it down here fill yourself up and it's a magnet to your twin it will happen automatically by itself so this is a beautiful outcome well done I just want to say how well you're doing because it's been a trying time if you go into the mind so getting out in nature you know drinking water bake a cake <laughs> bake a cake simple things in life just keeping you here and telling yourself positive things but this is a this is really heating up this is the power of this moon I'm telling you it's unbelievable so the ace of Pentacles and sacred Union could have we got a better layout so when you look at this together this is really the outcome okay so in in here had to cut away and then the guilt and shame has to go and over here is like well, that's why I'm here. I'm here to cut that person out. I'm here to get to that point where they can't stay in my energy field because my vibration's so much higher. And I've got to let go in the mental plane, right? And think, oh, how sad they don't want to be near me. And it's like, no, you're being protected. So this creates space for this to ignite. So this starts to ignite. This is your creativity. So you must channel this energy so it doesn't get demonically possessed and go astray. 
go astray. And you've got to do the release of the Jezebel spirit because everyone's a lot happier and there's been two unions since we've used that as well. So meditation is really important. Reiki, meditation and ritual, they told me. And here's sacred union, the outcome, treasure your relationship. Right, so it's you can't be up and down mentally. You can't be like in and out. This is happening, that not happening. You've just got to go. This is the outcome, and I'm there. And then bring love to yourself because when I talk about the balance of the 75 and the 25, it's like that's the sacred, ancient energy, the two 25s and how they're mirrored. So I'm getting it. In they're inside the infinity symbol when I was meditating on it because it's just layers and layers of this healing it's unbelievable right and it's activated through the violet flame that I do so I do a lot of healing and a lot of activation so I can bring you this stuff right and I spend a lot of time receiving the downloads in peace and quiet it's not easy let me tell you it's not easy I love this reading I'm just going to go here I don't know if I want to clarify anything because this is a new beginning fresh start with um, a blessing from God and providence like so being provided for something you haven't seen you can't see it yet and it's a drop of that gold right so here's another drop of gold and here this is the idea of it oh my gosh and then it actually is fruitful it becomes practical and it's down here look so this is getting out of your mind here and cutting things out and not worrying about the guilt so you have to shift that because when you do that the guilt of anything in past or incarnations of other lives and with this person this karmic that is being released so it seems like a lot of grief or pain overwhelmingly for the circumstances but you must know that it's collective pain that you're releasing so you've actually created a shift as a collective by doing this and to see that now that everyone can see who's their karmic and that there's something more or they know their twin so this is a very good outcome and we really need to activate and speed this up by August I keep getting by August 21st for some reason so need to research around that date August we have to be in alignment we have to be connected to Gaia and we have to be connected in the heart energy to our twin whether we're with them or not physically do you know what I mean so we're just gonna see out of these beautiful cards I love these look at the endless love so does that make sense with the 25% of the feminine energy in the masculine connecting to the 25% of the masculine energy within the feminine that connects now for us to get say feminines to get to 25% masculine when we'd have we've had to be at 80% to get at the top of the hill because that's where we are at the top of the hill abundance transformation sexual boundless this is infinite this is infinite energy it doesn't run out it's creative energy and we need to channel it so you need to be that's what your mind's for to channel that energy with ideas after you've received the divine guidance now here's money too for you guys that want to actually put it into action it's like getting these ideas into action and letting go of this guilt and shame just knowing that you can feel it and you're going to release it now with the full moon big deep breath and just saying I release all guilt from my heart mind and psychic aura now I declare I move forward with freedom so we're doing this right now so there's a miracle occurring right now so thank you so much for your energy and for doing the work and for sitting in the crapola crapola I call it it's a bellarism don't worry <laughs> Okay, so we've got Radha, Soul Flame. So we're working with Radha this month. And isn't that just beautiful? Radha. Rediscover a lost part of yourself, experiencing relationship, harmony and healing. So this is internal. So you're about to go through a massive shift, Twin Flames. This 25% in each, right? We've got to bring our 80%, 85% masculine energy down to 25%. That means the feminine energy has to be at 75%. Feminine energy is receptive. 
it's allowance, it's acceptance, it's receiving, it's not initiating contact, it's not thinking of ideas on how to move forward with the relationship, it's not active, it's not movement, it's like I call it starfish on Gaia. <laughs> <laughs> Laying down on your back, you know, with your arms and legs out. Anyway, in that position is where you can receive. And you can even affirm it, I am receiving now because a lot of us are giving out a lot of energy with thoughts. It's, every time you think, you're using energy. So think I have 100 volts of energy every day. A lot of times, you know, we, we get in the shower and we're already at work. We get to work, we're already at lunch. We get at lunchtime, we're already at home. We're not where we are and we really need to be there because it's only in the, in the now that we can create and bring this soul flame through. I love this. So this is, I'm going to read this as we look at it. The Hindu goddess Radha is the divine feminine counterpart and twin flame of Krishna. See, Krishna is a blue ray as well because he's blue. She is considered to represent Shakti, the divine feminine and creative spirit of the universal life force. Without the female, the male cannot be created. And for this reason, Shakti is a powerful force that is honored and cherished. Radha is completely devoted to her partner and illustrates the age old adage. Behind every powerful man is a powerful woman. She is dedicated to supporting all those who seek relationship, harmony and healing. At one point she learned what it was like to be separated from Krishna. And so she can also bring great healing to those who are suffering the loss of a partner or are in separation. So I'm telling you, do not worry about how many kilometers are between you. We're a part of a multiverse. Right, I mean, I'm still working in the universe. I just got to Universal. <laughs> then they tell me it's multiverse. It's like, oh, it never ends. <laughs> I'm never going to get there. And it's never, never done. So, extended message, loving union, connection and relationship harmony are key at this time. It's important to remember, though, that relationships won't make you whole. Only your own love can do that. You now have opportunities to find lost parts of yourself, maybe sensual parts or the capacity to cherish yourself. The relationships around you will then begin to reflect the love you have for yourself. Increased romance, love and opportunities to express divine harmony through love are all becoming apparent in your life. You deserve divine love and Radha with her Shakti presence is here to awaken this loving connection within you now. Thank you Radha, we ask that you activate this within us now. So the Shakti is part of the Kundalini and we do that in Kundalini Reiki, right? To awaken that energy. So you're, you, you, have, you have unique codes. You've got to remember that the codes are set to activate one first and the other. Everyone can't go off at the same time and be like full on. Know that your veil is lifting and you're seeing the truth clearer through your heart, your feelings. So when the Pleiadians came to visit, I sat up on my bed. It was 9.30 at night. There had been a full moon. Friday the 13th, a full moon and I saw a black cat. It was just too much. But I put candles out the front right, and I, channel, I chanted to bring them in. Like, hello, are you there? Otherwise, I'm just not going to listen to any of this new age crap. <laughs> and what is right, what is wrong, you know, all this. So the first night I thought they were going to come. Anyway, they came the third night. So it was th Friday the 13th, the full moon, and then they came. Because I was sort of over it, but they said, pull your window down. So they came in through with lights. And I said let me see you let me see you as people and they said close your eyes and i was like oh how unreal i've been 
clearing my third eye of all that fluoride for all those years. It's been calcified and I've been clearing it. How exciting. They're going to tell me to go through my third eye. And they said, look through your heart and you will see us. I was like, oh no, I can't do that. I'm going to go and make a cup of tea. <laughs> so I got up and left my bedroom and I was in the way here a cup of tea and I was thinking to myself, what would I say to somebody if they were telling me this, you know, to, to, to detach from it so I could... And I thought I'd say, go back and ask them how to heal your heart. I went, oh, good idea, <laughs> good idea. So I went back, lay down on my bed, I closed my eyes and I opened up my heart. I said, help me, help me. I give you permission and ask to come in and heal my heart so that I can see you. And I actually visualised, which is rare for me, um, a calcification. It was like plaster cast over a quarter of my heart and like a laser. It was like it was ice and they lasered it and it melted. And I was like, wow, I've done so much work. And I still had... 20% at least calcified. It was so astonishing to me. And then I was like very excited and I remembered my tooth. I've had a problem with a tooth <laughs> split. And um, I was told something that, it, you know, you have to get the root canal therapy, $5,000. The dentist gave me happy gas as he recapped it and said, you'll be back. And I said, no, I won't. The angels are gonna heal this, because I was high. And I wanted that to happen. Anyway, I opened my mouth when the Pleiadians were there with the lights and I said, and my tooth, and I felt the laser go down my tooth. And it's actually sealed it and it's not infected and it's, I don't have to have the root canal therapy. And then afterwards I was like, how did you, like, how did you do that? Like, how did you know to do that? And they were like, remember when you asked us, you said it. I was like, I asked you, I said it. And it took me like five days and I went, oh, I said it. I said the angels are going to fix my tooth. So then they were showing me what we speak, we create, it's abracadabra. So I'm going to declare that you're safe and I'm going to declare that your union is imminent whether you're five minutes away or 500,000 kilometers away. Your mind gets out of the way and the energy gets activated. And you know, on the way to union, our feelings to be released, it's excellent, it's very exciting. It's always darkest just before dawn. So release this and then it'll be easier. These karmics will, partnerships will actually be cut away and divine providence comes in. And, you know, you've got to ask, remember, because the universal law of free will means no angel or the Pleiadians can't intervene without your permission. So we're asking Radha and the Twin Flame Angels, thank you so much for your time and your attention. If you would like to have your Shabam with me and connect to your guides and see what your Twin Flame's doing, um, you can look at me, Reiki by Bella. I do 60 minutes, 90 minutes and two hours and I'm offering you a free upgrade. So you book 90 minutes, you pay for 90 minutes and you book a power shabam. I can't wait to connect with you. It's excellent to do it like FaceTime and I can energy heal. We do mediumship there and we do about six snapshots on your questions, life purpose and romance. I love you. Shine bright.